Are you able to see on your screen now? Uh, yes. Oh, wait. <laughs> yes, I know that I still didn't think so. Yeah, wait a second. We have to. I think that I had explained that to you, uh, means. Uh, uh, I was explaining in ACB salt, and I think that. Wait, uh, you, yeah, you were, you were explaining me the litmus paper thing. Oh, yes, just a second. Because that. Give me a second. Because I explained to you, and I think that. Uh, yeah, PhD. Key line indicator. I think that all the four pages that I explained that to you, huh? So, one more important thing I am going to ask you few questions related to this one, okay? okay. Yes, few questions you will see on your screen. You have to tell me your answer. Yes, you can see that. Question number first What color does litmus solution turn in an alkali? Red, green. Um, um, uh, Um, it's, it's not, not blue, blue because, because that, that would be, be neutral. No, 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 purple is neutral. Purple is neutral. Um, It's, it's not, not going to be red. red. Hold on. You don't have to see anywhere. It's your general test. So you no, can. No, 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 I'm not seeing you. I'm just thinking, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's, it's not, not going to be red, red or. It's, it's not going to be red or. Uh, or uh, so it's going to be green. Alkali, that is green. You are saying green, okay? I am marking that. Phenolphthalein solution is added to a colorless liquid, okay? Mm -hmm. It turns a deep pink, pink color. What does this tell you? Okay, okay, so, so if, if it's pink, pink a, a deep, deep pink, pink color, then a deep pink color, color that, that would be, it's, 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 it's not, not going to be neutral because neutral is purple. So, yes. so, so it's, and pink, pink, pink doesn't mean, well, Alkali? It's, it's not going to be alkali because then that's a green. Wait, Wait um, so, so it's going to be like pink? If it's, if it's dark pink, pink, then it's probably like going to be close to red. red. So, so red is an acid. acid. So red, red is going to be acid, so it's going to be an acid. Okay. I'm marking on acid. Are you sure about that? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, which of these might have a pH of 9? Uh, pH of 9. Yeah, um, ethanoic acid, sulfuric acid, calcium hydroxide. It's, it's not ethanoic acid. acid. So, so um, um, Each of nine. What is it? Be? Uh, hold on, hold on. Each of nine. Uh, 
I you know I I reviewed my notes yesterday only. No 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 problem. That means random. I am testing you. Means suppose that means I am thinking that how much that you understand that. Or means how much that you you are remembering at this time only. That's it. Okay. Don't worry about that one. How much marks that you'll get? That I'm not going to tell your father, but a little bit that I will consider that. I'll yeah, consider that, I, okay. and also you have to consider that uh, how much uh, more further you have to do that to learn all that. Okay, that's it. Simple. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. It's self. It's self regression. Okay. That's an okay pH value of nine. Okay, you are saying sulfuric acid, so I am marking sulfuric acid. Okay. Next, universal indicator is added to a colorless solution and turns dark blue. What does this tell you? If it's dark blue. Then, then it's going, going to be, be uh, uh, um, base, base, base yeah, blue for base, yeah. So base, that so means base. your answer will be? Oh, oh yeah, or your uh, dark, dark blue, blue, so it's, it's going to be, oh, 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 wait. Yeah, oh, alkali, oh. that means your base, acid, that is your acid, neutral, that is neutral, and uh, Alkali, that means yeah, yeah, it's going to be alkali. Yeah, it's going to be alkali. Yes, great. Which ion presents in all acid solutions? All acid you know, solution contains which ion? All acid solution contains the H plus one. H plus iron. Good. Okay. And then, and then what is the name given to the base that dissolves, dissolves in water? Um. Oh, oh, wait, 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 I I went through this yesterday. Um. Uh, what, what name is given to a base that? It's not M. No, no, it's not M. Forter. No, it's not that one. It's not, not um, uh, uh, I'm gonna go with salt. Which one? Salt. salt. It's a salt? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. They are asking that uh, what name is given to a base? Okay. What name is given to a base that discovers that dissolve in water? Already base they are saying. So first of all that salt cannot be okay. Okay, then then there are two options amphoteric and and alkali. How would it be? Uh, okay. okay. All right, sir. I, 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 I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with alkali. Yeah. Yeah, alkali. Okay, your answer is alkali. So. Which are, uh, wait, I have to scroll down a little bit. Which ionic equation take place in an acid alkali neutralization reaction? Acid. Oh, 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 this one was. This one was, um. Wait. Uh, 
Firstly, you have to understand that acid alkali neutralization. That means indirectly they are saying acid base neutralization. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. that is your base so which ionic react equation take place um Number three. Number three. NS three plus S two O that will give you ammonium ion plus OH minus. Okay. Which of the following could be used to neutralize acidic soil? Which of the following could be used to neutralize acidic soil? A uh, little bit uh, in okay. Let's see that what you are. What's your answer? Uh. Did we learn this? Pardon? I said, did we learn this? Uh, it's a general question, Beta. Which of the following could be used to neutralize acidic soil? First of all, that we have to understand that what is acidic soil. Sometimes when there will be a little bit drought, okay? Around. Okay. Okay. So okay. the... Okay acidity of soil that would like to increase in that condition farmers would like to apply because acidic acidic substance that would like to increase so 100% that farmers would like to apply a base so as to neutralize, neutralize acidic factor okay so that's why that they are giving three options Ms. So Far I'm gonna, farmers apply yeah, so base so now you have to tell me that you can see of these options and you can tell that what should be sodium chloride and a calcium. calcium calcium oxide sulfuric acid yeah, yeah, yeah. so um, i'm gonna go with calcium oxide okay that's good next is Sulfuric acid plus magnesium oxide, what will be your product? Uh, uh, hold on. Um, uh, uh, hold on. Sulfur, 
my music box. Uh, I want to you can tell me your product after writing this reaction. And then you can understand that what will be your product. I think, hold on, um, remember with, <clears throat> okay, um, okay, so, all right, remember with, uh, magnesium sulfate, plus uh, carbon dioxide plus water. Magnesium sulfate plus carbon dioxide plus water. Okay. Are you sure about that? Um, yeah. Great. Next is, which of these options would produce potassium nitrate? Uh... Uh, uh, hold on, sir. Um, okay, okay, take your time. The last one, potassium hydroxide plus nitric acid. Okay. So I'm going to check your score. Don't worry about that. Whatever that you'll get there because it's a random test. So okay. three, two, one, not. Let's come in and uh, you score. Oh, 50% random testing. Okay, beta, wait a second. Now, you can see that first question was there, what color does litmus solution turn in an alkali? Beta, alkali is your base. Okay. So it will be blue. Yes. Oh. Base will be blue, beta. Okay, acid will be red, base will be blue, okay, and neutral will be green regarding to pH scale, okay. Mm. One more thing, phenolphthalein solution is added to a colorless liquid. As usual, we know that phenolphthalein is a indicator, okay. So they are yeah. not saying that Phenolphthalein solution is added to a colorless liquid. It turns a deep pink color. I told you, beta, that it will be, okay, AC solution, okay. Phenolphthalein turns pink in, uh, no, 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 sorry. You said that it is an acid, but it is, it will be a base. Because phenolphthalein always changes color in alkaline solution, okay? It always oh. becomes colorless in acid, okay? Oh my god, oh, okay. Understand? Yes. Um, Again, I'm I repeating. Phenolphthalein, I explained that to you three types of indicator. Litmus. 
phenolphthalein and third one can you tell me that the three general indicators Okay. Three general indicators phenolphthalein, litmus, and I explained, I told you the third one also there. Okay, so beta, I am requesting you to go to your okay i means third one is your methyl orange okay <laughs> there are three basic indicators first one means here i am not asking about acid basic basic okay i am telling basic that means common three common indicators are there three common indicators are litmus phenolphthalein and the third one is your methyl orange okay oh okay Bye. they are asking that uh, yeah so do you understand the first two questions yes third one they are saying that which of these might have a ph of nine you are telling sulfuric acid sulfuric acid is acidic in color Oh, sorry acidic in nature that means regarding to pH scale its value will be less than 7 okay oh and it, that means you have to understand that acid will be less than 7 neutral that will be equals to 7 and base that will be greater than 7 they are asking for pH of 9 that means it will be a base and if that will be base so any substance that contains hydroxide like okay any substance okay. that contains hydro hydroxide like thing okay that will be your base I think that in your option there was calcium hydroxide so that should be your solution okay means that should be that should be your answer and uh, but you mention here oh yes calcium hydroxide solution contain hydroxide ions that means OH minus okay oh. calcium hydroxide solution contains OH minus ions or hydroxide ions that means it its pH value will be 9 or greater than 7 okay okay understand and sulfuric yeah, yeah. acid beta sulfuric acid that is acid so its pH value will be less than seven so how is it possible of having ph of nine oh, right 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 okay no problem next question number four that was your correct question number four you gave me right answer universal indicator is added to colorless solution and then it turns dark blue so it is an alkali yes blue color that will be your base so that's why that it is an alkali. Don't be confused that beta. Always remember that acid, acid that means that will be red in color. Okay. Base that will be blue in color. And salt that will be neutral. Okay. Yeah, salt that will be neutral. Neither acidic nor basic. Okay. 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 Do you understand clearly? Yeah, I understand. I just I'm I'm just, just upset, upset that I got fifty percent. Yeah. And next is which ion present in all acid solution? Your answer is right. Because that you told me that hydrogen ion. 
means acid i explained that to you that acid are the substances which produce hydrogen ion and also your answer is right yes and next is what name of the base that discovers in water that dissolve in water yes that's right always bases dissolve in water okay okay but not all bases okay i'm also yeah. including a sentence beta bases have a property to dissolve in water okay but not all bases clear yes next is which ionic equation take place in acid alkali neutralization beta acid alkali neutralization you just have to consider acid alkali neutralization that means acid plus base will give you salt and water or you can also understand that h plus plus oh minus okay when mm. will combine then that will be your acid base neutralization okay so okay. always remember here is also given that in acid base acid hydrogen h plus ion from the acid and oh ion from the base okay to make a molecule of water okay okay yes because that as usually you know that in acid base reaction acid base reaction they generally form salt and water hello yeah yeah i explained that to you beta in acid base acid that means you can take like acl base that you can take calcium hydroxide or simply that naoh you can take okay so in that way when these two component will combined then as a product there will be salt and water or not yes sir that means that from acidic component the it will release hydrogen ion and basic component that will release hydroxyl ion means oh minus okay and mm -hmm. they will combine to form water molecule okay all right yes sir are you understanding that yeah yeah great which of the following could be used to neutralize acidic soil yes your trick was right because none of the option that will be of acid calcium oxide that becomes basic in nature okay so that's why that it will neutralize the soil okay understand yes question number 9 you there was a reaction sorry there was a reaction sulfuric acid plus magnesium hydroxide wait let me take my graphic card give me one second i have to on that one so it is asking that uh, give me a second so you can see on your screen so they are saying sulfuric acid so sulfuric acid that is h2so4 h2so4 are you able to see on your screen yeah and magnesium side that is plus mgo okay yes so when these two will combine you told that magnesium sulfate plus carbon dioxide plus water so first of all 
that we have to consider that what will be product so as I told you there is a trick to understand it is plus it is minus it is plus it is minus okay so plus and yeah. minus will combine so in that way mg and so4 that will combine and it will form magnesium sulfate okay yeah like yeah mg so4 okay yeah, yeah okay. understand yeah and m is for hold twice it will be yeah magnesium sulfate and next h2 plus o okay then it will form h2o okay always yeah. remember okay always remember that uh, when and you told me that magnesium sulfate carbon dioxide plus water beta carbon dioxide will only be released i am writing here carbon dioxide oxide will only be released released when uh, yes means uh, when any carbonate component will be okay when yes. an acid acid react with 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 carbonate okay understand yeah, yeah okay that's great so now okay 10th question that is your right you said that potassium hydroxide plus nitric acid so also reaction i am explaining that to you potassium hydroxide koh koh plus nitric acid hno3 and then again we can consider that by its plus or minus that means plus minus plus minus okay so clearly you can understand that potassium will combine with nitrate okay and yeah okay. yes and H and OH will combine so H and OH will combine they will form water and potassium nitrate will be salt understand okay <laughs> okay so do you understand all the questions yeah yeah I understand okay I'm refreshing that button so that we can move the next topic there so fundamentally I explain all that related to acid base and salt a little bit more practice that will increase your efficiency beta so you just have to okay wait you just have to revise all that which I explained that to you and let's see that what other topic that we can start mm, I think that naming salt and all that things that you know that about how will you okay you can do you know that uh, how to recognize the salt or acid or base or salt anything 
means suppose that any component that will be given to you its name and you have to write its chemical formula so don't you think that sometimes that you feel a little bit problem of writing their chemical formula or something uh yeah sometimes yes so in that condition suppose that a little bit i am explaining that to you the salt is as usual that you know that salt is any compound that forms by neutralization of an acid to a base okay? that means again they are saying that uh, salt will be formed when an acid and base combine together okay yes when an acid and base combine together they will form salt and water the name of a salt has two part okay the first part that will be a metal that will form a metal metal oxide or metallic carbonate okay the second part yeah. always comes from the acid okay we suppose that if there is a salt okay so salt contains two part okay yes salt contains two part so first part there will be me suppose that uh, i can explain that to you me so you can take, suppose that nacl okay so in nacl clearly you can understand that first part is your na okay so okay. na it is coming it will come either from a metal okay either from a metal okay metallic oxide metal metal oxide okay okay or metal carbonate okay okay yes always remember that metal and metal oxide that will form salt and water yes that's right but when metal carbonate that will react with okay base then it will form salt water and carbon dioxide okay just before okay. i explain that to you huh yeah yeah yes and so first part in a salt the first part that you will get from a metal metal oxide or metallic carbonate okay now come okay. to the second part second part that is your chlorine always remember that the second part that comes from an acid okay the second part comes, comes okay. from an acid okay an okay. acid so like uh, uh, how you, how you can understand that so acid that you can understand clearly like uh, acid like h2so4 h2so4 okay scl now you can see that scl second part that is coming from acid cl okay hno3 yes. hno3 okay yes kcl all that means here that you are seeing that second part of a salt that comes from an acid okay yeah yeah and yeah so in that way you have to remember these things beta that if a salt is there then there becomes two part of it the first part that would like to come from metal metallic oxide or metallic carbonate okay okay can include a little bit means metal metal oxide metallic hydroxide metallic carbonate okay anyone means metallic oxide or metallic hydroxide will also be there so doesn't matter of that one from there metal will come okay and then second part that is your chlorine 
so chlorine like substance chlorine like substance that will come from your acid so that means what type of acid which you are reacting with okay okay understand yeah yeah great me suppose that a uh, little bit more deeply that i can explain suppose that nitric acid if that is reacting so from nitric acid you can see that only nitrate that will come with salt okay uh, only yes. nitrate that will come with salt and h plus and that will move to oh minus to produce water there okay oh okay you can also understand again i am writing a reaction yeah, i am writing a reaction so that it will be much convenient for you to understand any reaction i am writing a reaction over here suppose that any acid plus base acid that means you can take that okay very easy that means scl plus base simple you can consider like naoh okay so yeah, yeah okay or wait a second they are asking about nitric acid okay nitric acid okay so in place of scl you can take that hno3 wait i'm writing here h n o 3 okay no problem so h n o 3 plus n a o h so now you have to consider that what will be its base so h plus n o 3 minus n a plus o h minus clear mm, yes and i told you that when these will combine then plus and minus will combine so you are seeing that na will combined with no3 or not yeah yeah na will come with yeah yeah NO3. and then it will form nano3 okay plus h plus and oh minus will combine to form h2o do you understand yeah and when it will be sodium nitrate sodium nitrate is your salt okay sodium nitrate yeah. that is your salt sodium nitrate it is your salt so you can see clearly in this salt the first part that is coming from metal metallic hydroxide or not this one right. here it is coming from here uh, oh sorry uh, by different color i can explain then you will be able to understand give me one second only yeah wait so first part okay first part is your metal metal is coming from metallic oxide metallic hydroxide or metallic carbonate so you can see that metallic hydroxide is there so from metallic hydroxide your metal that is coming okay mm -hmm. and the second part that is coming your acid okay second part yeah. that is coming from your acid so in this way you can clearly understand that what i explained that to you just before it is coming from your acid because i told you that it is your acid okay it okay. is your acid it is your base that's why that you are getting salt and water okay also i wrote here this one okay that mm -hmm. is second part comes from an acid understand yes great yeah give me one second i am coming i am going to drink water please few seconds
Yes, I'm back. So do you understand, beta? What I explained that to you? Oh uh, yes. Every time when you will see this one, and then means it doesn't mean that suppose that when I will upload this class, then you will see all that. If means if you are free, then you can see that whole video. Otherwise, that you can click over that important parts which I explained that to you. Suppose that here that you are seeing that I am explaining an important thing to you. So directly you can click there and then whatever that will be 10, 15 minutes. Then in that way that you will be able to understand that what is main, basically main important. Okay. Yeah. Do you understand clearly, Vita? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I understand clearly. Also, there is yeah that's why that this one i explained that hydrochloric acid always produces salt that end with chlorine and contains chloride ion yes i explained that to you here you can see that nacl like cl minus okay mm -hmm. chloride ion okay also yes. nitric acid that will form sodium nitrate so here you can see that nitrate ion there is okay yeah also and next one uh, sulfuric acid always produces salt that ends with uh, sulfate ion clear yes so if they are they are asking that if potassium oxide Potassium oxide that is K2O react with sulfuric acid and that is H2SO4. So K2O, wait, hold on. I'm writing reaction. Okay. Wait, you can see here. K2O potassium oxide plus sulfuric acid like H2SO4. <clears throat> and that will give you so before identifying product you can place plus and minus so that you can also understand there plus minus plus minus okay mm -hmm. so here potassium sulfate that will be your product okay yes Okay, Vita. So, yeah, yeah. KSO4. Okay. K2. Yes. Sulfate 2. K2SO4 plus H2 and O will combine, will form H2O. Okay. Yes. So in this one, in this salt, you can also see that first part that is coming from metallic oxide, okay? Uh, yes, okay. And the second part that is your water. Understand? Yes. Great. So now, yes, there are many metals and means like sodium hydroxide copper oxide sodium hyd sodium hydroxide react with sulfuric acid to make sodium sulfate zinc oxide react with sulfuric acid to form zinc sulfate okay so do you understand what i explained that to you yes great so let's move to the next page with so that whatever that is on other page quickly I explain because how much that you will take knowledge that will be profitable for you that means in that condition any type of question that will be making insoluble salt okay so here beta insoluble salt they are asking so if you want to make an insoluble salt okay 
then two soluble salt needed to react together in a precipitation reaction. Okay. okay. Yes. To soluble to make an insoluble salt, you have to take two soluble salt to react together in a precipitation reaction. Okay. Yes. Because precipitate can't dissolve. Okay. Yeah, we yes, okay. So soluble salt, what are soluble salt? All nitrates that are soluble salt. Okay, all common sodium, potassium, and ammonium salt, they are also soluble. Most common sulfates, okay, they are soluble. Okay, most common yeah. chlorides, they are also soluble. Sodium, potassium, and ammonium, they are all soluble. Okay. And most common sulfate, I was telling you, but in that one, calcium sulfate and barium sulfate, that is your insoluble. Okay. Yeah. And most common chloride, I explained that to you. But silver chloride that is your insoluble. Understand? Yeah, yeah, I understand. Sodium, potassium, and ammonium. I explained that to you. So most common carbonates they are insoluble. Okay. Oh yes, okay. So that means this table is very important. Yes. So I'm taking a screenshot. I'm sending it to you. Give me a second. Are you understanding all that, Vita? Yeah, yeah. Do you receive that? Um. Oh yeah, I received it. Yes. Also, yeah, basically the same type of means reaction again and again. They are explaining like uh, silver nitrate plus sodium chloride that will give you sodium nitrate plus silver chloride. Yeah, silver nitrate in this one silver is positive nitrate is negative plus sodium chloride sodium is positive chloride that is negative so silver will combine with chloride that's why it will form silver chloride sodium and nitrate will combine to form sodium nitrate so that's why they are writing AgNO3 aqueous Aqueous, why they are writing? Because that these substances always dissolve in water. Okay? Okay. NaCl. So, Ag and Cl will combine form AgCl. And why AgCl? Because Ag valency is also one. Chlorine valency is also one. So, plus and minus combined. So, it will be NS AgCl. NaNO3. Here, sodium valency is also plus 1 and nitrate valency is minus 1. So, they will combine to form sodium nitrate. Okay? Yes. So, if in any reaction that precipitate will form, so in that way you have to, in, in that way, you have to consider that will be your insoluble solution okay because precipitate cannot dissolve okay precipitate oh, yeah. cannot dissolve it huh? so that's why that they would like to be means insoluble solution okay yes and the third one let's see that what is there Making soluble salt, 
yes so soluble salt <coughs> soluble salts can be made by reacting acid with either soluble or insoluble base okay okay this sentence is most important soluble salt can be made by reacting acid with either soluble or insoluble base okay okay yeah if you are using an alkali which is soluble base then you need to add just enough acid to make a neutral solution okay okay so in that condition you can check that with the help of universal indicator paper okay and then just take that solution and just heat that when you will start to heat it will start evaporating okay or vaporizing when all the water will vaporize then the remains that will be your salt okay Understand? The remains will be used. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Clear? Yeah, yep. it's your crystalline salt. Okay? Okay. Miss crystalline salt, means in salt there will be crystalline solute will be, which you are dissolving in that one, or which you had dissolved, okay? Yes. Again, I am explaining this one. Miss suppose that, when you will miss solution is there you are seeing blue in color okay when you will start to heat okay then evaporate evaporation process that will start and then the amount of solution has reduced okay when a little bit means uh, when maximum times that or you will take maximum time to uh, heat that okay then when yeah. all the evaporation process will be complete then the remains that will be your again solute it is also just like as condition condition suppose that if you have salt solutions that means just take sodium amine wait sodium chloride nacl or just take common salt and uh, dissolve that into water then you will get salt solution or not yes 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 you are and then just place your salt solution uh, on gas okay okay so in the gas that uh, if you place that on gas then there will be vaporization process but suppose that if you will place your sol this, uh, uh, solution uh, outside in the presence of sunlight then the evaporation process will start and after some time that means uh, if you'll place that in morning then when you go through in afternoon or evening time then you will see that there will be whitish like substance at the bottom of your container okay when you okay. will taste that then that will be your salt okay mm -hmm. okay yes do you understand that yeah, yeah, I understand. so in this one but i also explain that how will you make your it means uh, soluble salt how will you mean soluble salt okay so you all uh, you have to revise all these beta within few hours this class will upload on ch channel so anytime you can go there and you can revise that and i'm requesting one thing to you just revise deeply all the topic means all the things in acid base and salt okay okay sir. sir have a great time and greetings to your parents thank you bye bye all right thank you sir bye